What's good YouTube, it's your boy Key 10 and today I have another Soul Steel's beater box and this one I paid $1,290 for and so it's actually $1,250 and then $40 shipping but I just included because I'll make my money back so if you're not familiar with these the idea is you're buying these in bulk and it's a membership website and then they kind of sell them to you for what they paid or maybe a little bit over but there's still room for you to make money and since you're buying it in bulk they give you a, kind of a good deal and they're, they're harder to get and I try to go for more expensive ones and I thought this was the most expensive one that they had until after I checked after I already bought it because I had to go quick and they had some that were a little bit more expensive but anyways I feel like this is still a good price range because the other ones you do get a lot of value worth of shoes but I mean it's kind of harder to move a three thousand dollar shoe than it is to sell a hundred fifty dollar shoe so that's just my input but let's get into it alrighty so I got it open I'll give you guys a peek alright so there's none without a box which is good so I'll grab these out oh okay so damage box but this is off-white converse okay so these are brand new off-white converse and I had just got one of these in a couple uh, boxes prior probably two boxes I mean this is a smaller size but still worth some good value you can see they're dead stock pretty nice these do fetch some value probably I don't know the other size was like they had no box but these are probably five six hundred bucks but, I mean it's got a damage box but you know I mean it's not too terrible I've seen worse so that's a pretty good shoe to start off with next we have a size 9 black revenge storm Okay. All right. So I had a couple of revenge storms a while ago. These are pretty clean. Just black and white, brand new. You can see the bottom. So not bad. This also has like a damaged box. So I don't know if it's picking that up or not, but. Two of them with damaged boxes, not bad. It's honestly better than having them without the box. It's easier to sell them like that, so. Next shoe out is a size four Adidas NMD R1. Let's see that box label. Okay. Super small size, but these are brand new, so hopefully it won't be uh, too hard to sell, but. Uh, I mean, me personally, I would not wear these, but these are actually, I mean, they're kind of nice. Just, uh, I don't know what exactly you'd wear these with, but I don't know. I mean, I'm sure someone wears them, but these are small and another damaged box. You can see that corner. And this, this is, it looked like it got punched or something, so... If it didn't have a damage box, it would be better, but I mean, at the end of the day, it'll still sell, just might take a little bit longer, so. I mean, that's probably doesn't go for much, probably, I don't know, maybe a hundred bucks, but it'll be up on the counter, so you can see. The next one is a Jordan 11 Low in a size 6 Y, and this box is also <laughs> damaged, so here we go, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So we have some Jordan 11 lows. These are nice. Brand new. Let's check those out. Yeah, these are clean. These are clean. And Jordan 11s move pretty well. You can see the brand new. They move pretty well, but I don't know about grade school also having a damage box so that is another damage box so so far we 
are four for four with damage boxes. So. <laughs> Just falling out of here. <laughs> Bro. Another damage box. I don't know if, you can, if the camera's picking that up or not, but. It's a Jordan 1, size of nine and a half. What it is. Oh, okay. Alright, these are brand new. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think these are. I think so, but they don't have. Any extra laces or lace bags? I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to look at them after the video. I mean, this. Yeah, I would say they're brand new because that size tag still in there. It has been pressed down, so. I don't know. Hard to tell. Came out in 2015. It's got like that glittery look almost up here now because of the age, but. Clean shoe. Not bad. I don't. I honestly don't know how much these go for, but yeah. See the bottom. It looks clean. I'll have to check it out later just to double check. Not bad. Not bad. Size nine and a half, but it does. You can see this lid. Um, yeah. I mean, it's uh, damaged. So five for five with damage boxes. But I wonder. I don't think that happened in shipping because the outside box was fine. So. Okay, right here we have an Air Jordan 1 mid. Says, small. oh, okay, all right. These are brand new. It's like, uh, I don't, I don't exactly know what they call it. The Volt Neutral Gray. So these are pretty clean. Dead stock. Comes with the extra laces, so not bad, not bad. I know mids have actually been going for a decent amount some of them. This is smoke gray, so it's probably not bad, but this box I would I wouldn't say it's damaged. I mean it has like a that and on the top a little bit, but it's nothing too crazy, so. I don't know. I don't know how much those go for. And we'll see. There's one more shoe box. It's a pretty big one. Oh, Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0. I think these still actually fetch a decent amount of value. So we will see. Okay. See what they are. Okay, I do not know the name of this silhouette, but these are the Nike Hyper Adapt 1.0s. And I can't tell if they're worn or not. I don't know, they still have the stock X tags, so. I don't know, I mean, I have seen people wear them with the stock X tag. It could be worn, but the bottoms don't look too dirty on them. So, I don't know. I want to say that they're dead stock. There's really no creasing or anything, but they're pretty cool. It's kind of, they have a QR code you can scan. I don't know what that pulls up, but yeah. So these honestly probably still fetch a decent amount of value. I think they're new. I don't know. Uh, I'm not too sure how to feel about this box. I don't do the calculations until after I record it and all that. So, I don't know what the counter's saying right now, but I feel like there's a decent amount of value. I feel like the money shoe is probably that first shoe I pulled out, the off-white Converse. And besides that, I don't know the market to... The Revenge Storms are probably $100. I have no idea on those hyper adapts or like anything else really so hopefully we made some good profit and 
I think it was a pretty decent box, but like I said, I won't know until later. But I appreciate you watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And, you know, let me know in the comments below what you think. I appreciate it, and I'll be back for more soon. Thank you.